Previously, on Pokemon Legends Arceus, Garl gives me my first gold sticker. What? 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 Oh look, it's Pixies! How's it going, loser? Now, I've got better places to be. Here's an update on your mini map. May tries to convert me into a being a believer. Hmm. So I tell her I'm Mewish, cover of not actually being Mewish, but BIG DEER APPEARS. Why? Well, apparently I was the entertainment for a fucking deer. I have been eating nothing but potato mochi for the past week. No. No, you... <laughs> what the heck? I now have two gold stickers. Oh. Yeah. Nice on! I get my third gold sticker. Tier 2 drip. Not bad, huh? So, I got a fresh cut. <sighs> this thing is gonna kill me. Ligma, Ligma, Ligma. Yes! Easy, easy boss battle. First try. Calamity! There you Zachary. That means that unlocks a brand new area. Back in the village, I'm still the errand boy for every single villager here, taking requests and bribing officials just to get a little reward that I can use to prepare for my next expedition into the new area, the Crimson Mirelands. Bro, calm down. What? Uh oh. Nothing like an early expedition to get me going, but that's all I've really been doing around here. I'm still not doing any of the story missions, but instead, I'm going on frequent expeditions and doing requests, like this one for the Clothier, just to unlock more drip. Nate, please. You will not be looking at the new drip. This could be game changing. It wasn't. No drips, though. No drip I want, anyways. For... It'll be better. Anyways, back to messing around, I do even more requests. One of them being to pop balloons in a race. Oh, it's like a, okay. Let's go, let's go, come on. Oh god, they're moving now. Am I supposed to go? Down there, okay. Oh, I got 17. Go for 20. 20 number. Okay. 21. <laughs> I'm, I'm hilarious. Or pop balloons with Pokeballs. Fifty thousand, bro. Wow. I mean, I think that's pretty good. Well, after that mess, I collect some purple balls that the child told me to collect and set off to another expedition. I told you, I'm still not doing any of the story missions for um, some reason. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's try to topple this. I'm killing this then. Oh my god! Ah! Bruh. Giga impact too strong. One alpha. Oh. It's just shiny. No. Oh. Don't kill it. 
All right, whatever. I needed that anyway. You know, look at that. See? Let's go. Let go. Not bad. What? I hit him. Nice. However, even though I'm doing all these side missions and evolving and overloving my Pokemon, this sand hippo still shows me that I am, in fact, mortal. I think that if I can kill, it's, it's gonna kill one. Might as well try. Gotta try to catch it somehow. 46, oh god. Oh my, why am I even trying? Ah, uh, move first. Yeah, no thanks. I'll just kill him now. Okay, I'm gonna try that again, but with a different strategy. That's what you call sacking. I'm back! Oh, but I chose to miss this time. Oh my god. Okay. Really? Really? This is stupid. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just gonna. C can you just kill it? Okay, guys. I, I guess I'm getting wiped. All right. Well, I'll see you guys. It's been fun. I so. Our whole freaking team died, but I did it, so that's what matters. Well, after that expedition, I get my fourth gold sticker. And with only two areas unlocked, you would think that after I rank up again, I would do some story missions to regress the story a bit, but nope. I do what I usually do, like incinerating the local wildlife, toppling giants, and expelling ghosts, until 2 hours and 37 minutes into the stream, I finally go off to do a story mission. No, I'm gonna revenge on this thing. I'm gonna revenge. I despise you. Wait, I let out with one. Crap. Uh, my bad. My, my, my fault. My fault. Dude, my fault. My fault. My fault. I swear. My fault. <laughs> I hate you. I'll get you one day. Oh. I'm smart. I made some more new characters, like this really short old lady named Cabbage who, like everyone else in this region, is a fanatic xenophobe spiritualist and cast me off to the side. Okay. Who cares? But here comes this guy again and uh, uh, what, what's his name? Ah, Kenneth Copeland of course, and immediately he wants to battle me. But little did he know. Dude, I, I've been doing so many side quests. My Pokemon are so over leveled. Don't do it, big man. That's not even fair. This is, this is not even fair. After that complete wash, I'm told to go after bandits who took a piece of the Berlin Wall, and unfortunately, I can't progress without doing it, so... When I get my samurai, I'm gonna go on a whole rant about why I'm upset about its typing. I stumble upon the bandits' camp, and they reveal themselves, but they all look somewhat familiar. Who are these clowns? Oh, that's why he said sisters, I thought he will... Huh, whatever. Why did she look- why is she built like Candace? Why are these all built like... Re Why is she built like Bertha? Why is that right one built like what? What's her name? Saturn? Why are they all based off characters in the Sinnoh games? Why Game Freak? It's so stupid. Anyways, 
Bandits do what bandits do, and they try to steal my stuff, but unfortunately, once again, I am way too overleveled for this. You're gonna get absolutely whacked. Uh, I forgot to bring out one. Oh my god, yeah, I just... After they realize they have no shot at beating me, they give me the piece of the Berlin Wall back they stole and run off, allowing me to put the Berlin Wall back together. Wait, is that a good thing? After getting the wall fragment back, Cabbage finally apologizes for being such an asshole to me when we first met, but continues to be one by ordering me to quell this giant Pokemon. Oh boy, here we go. Oh god, what's going on? What is that? Is that the bear for the new California Republic? Anyways, I defeat this big old bear and I have to tell this senile old lady that this wasn't what I signed up for. The last frenzied Pokemon was all shiny, and well, this is just an overweight bear, which I cannot write, I guess. I'm not, I'm never gonna use you. Returning to the village, I need to report back to Daria Zachary, who, of course, only sees me as a workhorse and immediately assigns me to another mission to uh, hunt down some redhead and quell the actual frenzied Pokemon. But instead of doing any more of that, I have much more pressing matters, like evolving this bird, doing Pokedex entries, and checking up at the drip store, as maybe that I progressed a bit, she may have something new for me. Let's see, any new drip? Oh! <gasps> Rip. Finally, after so many hours, the final tear of a drip. The tailored suit, the bowler hat, the tinted glasses, the haircut, and the shoes. This truly is respectable. And now with my fully maxed out attire, I still don't do the story mission, as I'd rather have a better team first, and that involves getting a Jolteon via evolving an Eevee with the Thunderstone, and a surefire way to acquire one is through the merit point system. Basically, other smooth brains that have died from being mauled to death by wild Pokemon drop their little satchels, ones throughout the map that you can pick up and return to them, awarding you merit points which I need a thousand of. However, because these can basically be anywhere in the map, I usually have to drown myself over and over again or keep messing with the wall collision of the game to eventually get my way. No shot actually got up here. But because I only have two regions unlocked, the amount of lost satchels is very limited which only has one solution. Completing the Pokedex and waiting for more satchels to appear, duh. But eventually, I get impatient and even though I only need 84 more merit points to go, I realize I should probably advance the story. Well, then I guess I have to do the story mission so I can, I get it, I, I can unlock the new area. Using this dumb bear, I find the redhead who I left for dead and is somehow still alive, but it turns out she already crafted all the powdery goodness needed to quell the next frenzied Pokemon, which turns out to be... Here we go. Drip. Oh no. Phantom. I'm gonna beat the crap out of this thing. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's go. On level 30, you body this thing. No, oh, come on. Oh yeah, yeah, he's just done that. 
Bam. Bam. So pissed at me. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Cope! Cope! Yeah, stick it. Pretty easy. I just first try no hit this bitch. All thanks to this new drip I got. This statement won't definitely come back to haunt me, right? Right? Anyways, shortly after defeating Lil again. <gasps> oh. <laughs> iPhone. I come back to the village to report back to Darius Zachary, but along the way, he taunts me. The village chef. Knowing what's gonna happen after the game I report, he already tells me what he's gonna force me to eat. God damn potato mochi. And the next day, there he is Zach leads me to a bunch of other poor souls like me, imprisoned and stuck in time. All thanks to Arceus. And they just accepted it? Bro, I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to do Arceus's bidding. I don't want to be back all the way back in time without modern medicine. Indoor plumbing. They don't have any of that. Why would he want to be here? I don't. <sighs> but now, the moment I've been waiting for. Long has it been since the Asha tree has gotten any love, but finally, we can appreciate Samurott's new form. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Zam! Although this is a great moment for me, saying the best water started being acknowledged by Game Freak, my boy out here is still not getting what he deserves. So, they didn't really do much with this design. Kind of like what they did. I mean, besides... Because uh, I saw the leaks like a while ago. So, besides Hisui and... Uh, the secular that's the only one that design wise they really change but this is this is just samurai if he had a villain backstory but jesus christ what a lad but uh, I'm, I'm gonna go on a rant right now all right i, I love samurai but dude water dark now if you see the original samurai design that looks like water fighting they had the perfect opportunity to make two things happen. Water fighting, bipedal. They they basically give him a little color scheme for his armor. Make him edgy and give him dark type. Water dark's cool, but Greninja exists. Why? Just why? Make him water dark. Water... Why make him a death? This he's not Embor. He's cooler than that. Uh, I don't know, man. Just missed opportunities right there. I'm only liking it because I like Samurott. So also a big missed opportunity. I, I can get that a lot of these things good here, but like the, the things I really complain about is just nitpicking. Like. Why not give, why not make Kasui and middle starters? Like, um, when I make this video, I'm gonna send in like a picture of like sans fan art of middle staged Kasui and, and dude, it looks so good. Like, they didn't even have to do much with the design. They just had to make it slightly, like, make more sense. It's vertical to, from Duwa to Kasui and Samurai, it makes no sense, but it'd be cool to see the evolution. The rant aside, my new mission is allowing me to unlock the next area, the Cobalt Coastlands, which already has Annie there waiting for me, who wants to fight me again. And with Juan being fully evolved, wanna guess how that goes? But 
Get him, bro. Oh my goodness. Why is there an Eevee here? Get him, boy. Eat him up, eat him up. Yeet. Woo! Menace. <laughs> After utterly demolishing my enemies again, I finish up the rest of those merit points. Allow me to get that Thunderstone and finally get that Jolteon. Now the passing of the torch. Your name is now John. Wonderful. Now with my team slowly being assembled and me finally progressing the plot, it's time to prepare for the future. You never know what you're gonna need out there with these new areas being unlocked. This means preparing for the next expedition to the Cobalt Coastlands. By crafting medicines, Pokeballs, sorting my inventory, and getting some much needed rest, I'll be ready to tackle on anything. But we won't know until the next episode. I'll see you then.